This model we're looking at here is going to be the larynx and a portion of the trachea. What we can notice is that this is going to be the hyoid bone. You can see at the top here. And this portion right over here is going to be a portion of the thyroid. Now, looking at the actual larynx itself, I'm just going to rotate the model a little bit. With it rotated, you can notice that right here, this is going to be the thyroid cartilage. Just inferior to that, below that, this right here, which has number three on it, is going to be the cricoid cartilage. If you go even below that, you come down to these rings down here, going down the trachea. Each one of those rings is a tracheal cartilage ring, or known as a C ring, so a tracheal cartilage ring. The rest of the structures we need to look on the posterior side for. Here we have a posterior view now of the larynx. What you can notice on this posterior view is the posterior aspect of the trachea here does not have the cartilaginous rings. What you can see though is right here, this is another piece of cartilage known as the artenoid cartilage. We can then also look a little bit higher up here, a little more superior, and find this opening. What you're seeing with this opening is that we have the opening going down into what would be the trachea. So let's work on opening this whole entire structure up and seeing what we have. Now that we have a view on the inside, this has been reflected back from a mid-sagittal or median cut. What you can see from this internal view now is this portion right here. This is going to be the epiglottis. The blue is representing the cartilage, while the rest of this is the actual epiglottis itself. So this is half of it, here is the other half. Just below where the epiglottis is, we're going to run into the opening known as the glottis. Now you can't see the opening here, but when the entire larynx is intact, the opening below or inferior to the epiglottis is known as the glottis. What we can see though is this section right here, a little bit of a whitish tinge to it. That is going to be your vocal fold, also known as your true vocal cords. Now notice that is slightly inferior to the fold above it. When we start looking at this fold right here, just above it, this is going to be the vestibular fold also known as your false vocal cords. So vestibular fold and false vocal cords. Just to give a little orientation from something we already talked about, right in the middle of your view here, this is going to be the anterior side of the larynx. What you're seeing right now is the tracheal cartilage, and this is the cricoid cartilage. So that is your larynx.